Behold, time to talk Bigfoot. 55 years ago this week, Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin played an epic game of footsie and filmed this infamous clip of the greatest hide-and-go-seek champion in the world. Waldo's got nothing on you, but is it real? Now, as a primatologist, who hosted a Bigfoot show? I have some thoughts. First of all, according to believers, this is supposed to be a female Sasquatch. Hey, more like Sasquatch if you ask me. <laughs> Oops. In fact, this Bigfoot has been affectionately nicknamed Patty. Why do they think she's female? Boobies! Yes, there's been a lot of focus on Patty's top shelf. However, as a primatologist, I know that non-human primates like this here gorilla don't have fur covering their fabulous flat doodles. I mean, think about it. Junior wants a milkshake. Hold the fur. Now let's get a gander at how high Patty's puppies are. It's as if she had work done. For instance, look at this nude chimpanzee lady babe. She looks like she's recently lactating and her breasts are, well, more pendulous. Gravity, it's a bitch. If this is an adult female, those bodacious tatas would feel the effects of gravity. Bigfoot may be big, but she's no match for gravitational pull. As for bras during this time, they uh, really got to the point. Sorry. One more thing about the boobies. They don't move. Even non-human primates boobies move. If I briskly walk sans brazier in this clearing in Bluff Creek, California, my gazongas would bounce in the breeze like two fleshy wind socks. All the things I'm bringing up might seem inconsequential. Why do we care about our boobs? This is the deal. If you're looking for a new species of primate, you need to think like a primatologist because no primates out there have breastuses like that. Sorry. And then there are the footprints, which can be easily hoaxed. It is 2022 and we need the gold standard of science. DN mother flippin' A. Sadly, Roger Patterson died five years after making that famous film. But his big legend lives on. And Bob Giblin actually stayed quiet about it for about 35 years. Until the 1990s. Then he became a celebrity among Squatchers. There is so much more to the story of Patterson Gimlin. Especially more evidence for a hoax. Now this here is Bob Hieronymus. It's thought that Bob actually wore the costume. He was the real Patty. And the costume came from a store in North Carolina run by a man named Philip Morris. A fitting name for a man who supplied a big smoking gun. Be sure to comment and follow if you're yeti for more Bigfoot action. Who's your doctor?